Stephen, many congratulations into the quarterfinals here of the Labrooks Players Championship. An absolute demolition job over on stage number two. Just sum up how you're feeling right now. Amazing, to be honest. Probably um, two of the most consistent games I've played um, ever, really. Um, just jubilation. I'm free to the, this is the quarterfinals yeah. now. Um, it's all going to be on the main stage and hopefully it can continue and uh, I look forward to a great game tomorrow. 8-2 up, averaging about 109 at that point. There's no way back, is there? No, it's, it's obviously, sometimes you can lose your concentration and it was just about um, getting myself over that line, keeping myself focused. Uh, I know Ryan's a dangerous player and he can always come back. Come back. Um, I've played him a few times and he's beat me a few times as well. So, uh, like I said, he's a dangerous player. Uh, respect to him as well because um, I threw everything at him and he, he, he kept coming back at me, but unfortunately it wasn't his day today. And, I'll take, I'll take the ball. Is that, is that put you in good stead? Definitely, yeah. Um, like I said before, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm playing really well. In um, me game against Jose de Souza, I'd never ever beat him before. Um, so I tried to put everything into that game to make sure that I, I come out on, on top. And luckily for me, I did. I think I averaged over 100 again. Um, I've just come off stage averaging 107, 108, whatever it was. But uh, over that format as well, it just shows how how good my form is at the minute. And like I said, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's match. Playing over on stage two as well, you can go under the radar a little bit, can't you? And you does that suit you a little bit better? I think so, yeah. Um, I had a difficult first round game on the, on the main stage as well against uh, Dimitri. Um, you never really know what you're going to get with Dimitri as well these last these last few months. And um, I just, like like I said again, I lost the ball, um, dug in, tried to, to break him early. I think he, he took a 90 finish out, which was crucial. And, I ended up breaking him a bit later on, but um, I'm, I'm working really hard behind the scenes. Um, I'm, a, I'm a million miles away from where I was a couple of years ago when I was going to retire and stuff. And I feel brilliant in my game, I feel brilliant in myself, and I'm really looking forward to what the future holds, to be honest. Two big ton plus averages like that when it really matters. This is close to the 2014 form you went to Lakeside in, isn't it? No, I think I'm better. I honestly believe I'm a better player. Um, I think. Obviously, you, you get knocked down. Uh, there's so many good players in the PDC, and, and people don't see it a lot. Obviously, the pro tour and um, when you play on TV. But I believe I'm better now than, than I've ever been. This is bunting phase three. Um, I'm, I'm just loving life at the minute and, and loving playing darts. And it's showing on the hockey and, and off the hockey, to be honest. Going price at the moment are very, ma very much in form. But that kind of form, you're worrying, won't you? And do you feel you can you've got the beating of him in that form? Definitely, yeah. Um, obviously, I, I've already heard you talk to him about Blackpool, so that's a seed of doubt straight away in his head. Um, I know how good I can be. Um, and in Blackpool, I didn't play that well, I didn't think. I got the win. If I play like what I've been playing the last the last couple of days, then I should be good. Do you like it when players remember things like that, then? Of course, yeah. Um, it's a scar, isn't it? And listen, I, I, I remember all my defeats as well. But... It's about how you bounce back, and I've bounced back really well over these last few months. And Listen, I just want to keep rising up that rankings and just keep doing what I'm doing, keep feeling focused, keep feeling positive, and it won't be long before there's a title, a massive title, in my corner. Steve, a pleasure, it's great to see you smile again. Thank you Thank very you. much. Just one from me, Stephen, if that's all right. Just one in the venue, because last year you had a quarter final series, quarter finals game. Is there anything in particular about this venue that you really enjoy? I like mine, Ed. Um, it's probably one of the furthest um, in, in the UK we've got to travel to, but yeah, I ju I, just everything about it really. The, the venue, um, we, we stay off site just around the corner, but it, it, just the locality of the place. Um, there's everything around, food places and stuff, and I just feel so relaxed down here. The weather's never, never the best, but listen, we don't come here to go out and sit on the beach, we come here to play darts, and I, I just enjoy it. The way you're playing at the moment, I know I mentioned it in the previous interview with Gezi saying that players might fear him, but I suppose you, the way you're playing, you're, you're on equal power with Gezi at the moment, aren't you? Definitely, yeah. Listen, I don't, I don't fear nobody. Um, I have in the past when I've not been playing well, but I, I'm playing really well at the moment. I feel confident. I feel like I can beat anybody, so bring it on. Thank you very much, Steve.